Hey guys, it's Chris, and I'm back with James from Dust on the Throne. Dust on the Throne. And we're here to talk about the Hound's vision. There's a couple things removed from that vision, apparently. So let's break it down and get into it, and what can it mean for the bigger picture and the end game of our story. Alright guys, so we just saw Game of Thrones Season 7, Episode 1, and I got to thinking about the Hound's vision, and it wasn't so much the vision in the show, right. um, as, as stated, but apparently an article came out, and there are several websites, and I'll throw a couple in, in the uh, description below as far as links to that, but there was a line removed. So first off, let's take a look at the Hound's vision, and then kind of extrapolate what the hell that possibly means. Ice. A wall of ice. The wall, where the wall meets the sea, there's a castle there. There's a mountain, looks like an arrowhead. The dead are marching past, thousands of them. So he says he sees the wall. Obviously, yeah. it's the wall. Yeah, he starts off as like I can see ice. Ice. And, and ice, ice wall. Yeah, the, the wall. wall. Exactly. Yeah. And then he goes on to say, near the sea, there's a castle there. So that's obviously East Watch by the Sea. Yes. Pretty straightforward. Yeah. And then he says, I see a mountain shaped like an arrowhead. The dead are marching past. So we'll get into the mountain thing in just a minute. But really quickly, the line that was removed from that apparently was the waves are frozen. Right. That could implicate a lot of things, and the biggest thing I thought about right from the get-go was they took that out for a, a myriad of reasons. Who knows? It, was it giving away something? Was it too much? Was it unnecessary? Right. It's definitely East Watch because we got that from John, you know, in the meeting with the Wildlings. He says Tormund, and he's going to send Tormund and the Wildlings to East Watch, obviously. Yeah. But it got me thinking, if he can just freeze the damn water, as in the waves, now this is the, we have another thought too, but this is just the, the surface stuff. If he can freeze the water and, and just walk around the wall, the walls never meant a damn thing ever in yeah. 8,000 years. And false sense of security this whole time. This whole story, this wall standing up between the realms of men and whatever else is out there, grumpkins and snarks and white walkers and ice spiders as big as hounds, it meant nothing if that's what it refers to. Now, I don't think it refers to that because that would essentially defeat the purpose of the wall and the Night's Watch and all that stuff. Right. So this kind of goes back to our Dragon Raised by Wolf series where we talked about the end game of our story. And it's not just oceans that can have waves. No. Not, not just oceans that can have waves. And I don't think the salinity of the water has anything to do with anything. Yeah, you know, because ice water past, will, fr I mean, salt water will freeze at a high enough temperature, or right. low enough temperature, right? And, and they bring that low enough temperature. Obviously, we saw they actually bring the damn storm. Now, yes, we were talking about it before a little bit too. Winter is a natural thing. They use that, but they obviously make it a hundred times worse. Worse, yeah. And, and literally blocking out the sun. And, and it was a great shot of that at the beginning of the episode. Yes. You know, um, my thing is, he was so clear in the beginning of that vision. Yeah. And specific. Very specific. Until he got to that mountain. Mountain. Yep. So now we've brainstormed and brainstormed a lot about. We'll get back to the wave in a second, but let's right. get back to the mountain piece. So I know a lot of people think, you know, it could reference his brother, the mountain. Um, but the mountain in the shape of an arrowhead, it seems to me that seems to point to Dragonstone. Because we had this back in season five, I believe, when Stannis was at the wall. And Sam is reading the books in the Castle Black Library, and he says something about Dragonglass. And Stannis is like, yeah, we have it on Dragonstone. So to me, this is tying into Dragonstone, and then, of course, immediately after that scene, it cuts to the Citadel with Sam, where he points this out to Gilly and points at Dragonstone on the page. And think about that. It literally cuts from that scene to the Sam Right, scene. and you see the, t the high tower, and it scrolls yes. right down to Sam reading those books, and he points out Dragonstone. So... In essence, what I'm saying here about the vision, I think, is the first part was pretty clear. We're going to see something going on at, at East Watch, you know, heading and up north. Let me interject right here for a second. Go we looked it, it up. Um, in all of the book series, um, not just 
uh, the regular series, but the Duncan Egg uh, books and everything. I searched every one of them. Yes. And East Watch is mentioned 118 times. Correct. Nowhere in any of those 118 passages is there a mountain shaped like an arrowhead. No. By as a matter of East fa- Watch. Right. Exactly. And as a matter of fact, the word arrowhead comes up when you do a, a search of iceandfire.com, which is mm-hmm. a very cool resource for us nerds to look up things like this. The word arrowhead is referenced 20 times. Yes. And 99% of those, everything is referenced to dragon glass. It is. A lot of it centers around the Sam and John chapters at the Fist of the First Men when they find the dragon glass. In essence, to me, the hound saw what was going to happen, not necessarily in chronological order. Exactly. And saw the the Night's King and the Army of the Dead marching down, heading towards East Watch, which is where they plan to attack the wall or come around the wall, whatever that may mean. And reference also what can de- possibly defeat them as far as Dragonstone being the haven for Dragon Glass, a literal mountain of it. And we actually started thinking um, about the remove line. The waves are yes. frozen. Dragonstone is an island. A couple of things here. So. First off, if the humans now, as far as John and company, they know about Dragon Glass. He's basically telling everybody, this is the key to it. We've killed him. Of course, Mira knows this. We got the big reference for Dragon Glass being also a healing thing as far yes. as being ingested for Jorah. That'll come into play. Exactly. Everything seems to be circling around to Dragon Glass as being super important, more important than we thought in originally, even though we knew it killed them. But it's almost like, okay, is this a race now between John and the humans? versus the Night King because he knows that's their weakness. He needs to get there first. And he would literally have to freeze the waves to get to Dragonstone. And you were looking at the map, and if you you look, guys, if you remember a certain series we did. (laughs) Yes, which I referenced a minute ago, but he didn't say parts one through four. (laughs) I'm just amped about this whole thing. I'm sorry, I'm slipping a little bit. I can't quit thinking about it now that we're talking about it. The Isle of Faces. Yes. God's eye is if there are, say, um, you know, meridians and parallels yes, uh, uh-huh. on this, say, globe or whatever, on this world, the God's eye and Dragonstone line up on the same freaking parallel. They are right there, very, very close to one another on the same parallel if there were a globe. I can't help but think. If they're able to freeze the waves, Chris, they can literally march straight down instead of right. going through Winterfell and everything like people think. Because if might. you think about it, you know, people think that, you know, the first stop would be Carhold or the last Tarth or then Winterfell. Yeah, they're not coming what, to the King's Road. Why would they go to the right side of the wall, looking at a map, the right side, East Watch by the yes. Sea, go around the wall, which may or may not even matter anymore as far as the wall coming down and all that kind of stuff. And then cut back over to the center of the land and then come down just to wipe. Now, if they want to wipe everybody out, sure, you could say that's a possibility, but the storm is literally following them. And it'll Winter wipe them will out. kill people anyway. By itself. So they could literally come straight down the coastline, straight down from East Watch by the Sea to Dragonstone potentially, or going back to our theory about where this thing ends. Again, I said earlier in the video, it's not just a sea that has waves. Exactly. Think about the size of the God's Eye and what I said in original, originally in Dragon Raised by Wolves. Compared to the wall, that lake is about 100 miles wide. Every time I've been to the Great Lakes, I'm amazed it has waves. They have waves. Yes, yeah, just like this. So like it almost fits what we said starting a year ago almost in this series, mm-hmm. which I need to republish in a remastered version and cut it up because it's starting to make sense now. Exactly. Even with the first episode. That could be what was removed from there to hide, uh, kind of, that would uh, pot- potentially give away the end game or where they're yeah. heading or where they're you know where they're going. So if you think about that and not just the ocean waves as far as East Watch or whatever, that makes complete sense that to get to either Dragonstone or the island in the center of the lake, which is the Isle of Faces, where the Order of the Green Men are, exactly. where there are heart trees, where the original pact was. There's still Shaking children upon, living there. Still children of the forest to meet their maker, whatever their end game is, they would have to freeze that water as well to get to that island. Yeah, both these key places down south for them are islands. Yes, so that kind of tells me that that line was removed more to hide something more than it was kind of just extra stuff that really didn't mean anything. Totally agree. I mean, it very well could have been just more references to East Watch being on the sea and the waves are frozen because they're so close. 
but I don't think so. I think it makes more sense for them to be understanding that Dragon Glass is their weakness. Yes. And they are either going to try to cut them off essentially or stop people from getting a hold of this mountain of Dragon Glass, as was said by Stannis right. and Sam now. Or it kind of lines up with their end game. And if you think about what he saw or the way he said it in the vision, we I see a mountain shaped like an arrowhead, the dead are walking past as in past Dragonstone exactly. on their way to the God's Eye. The, I totally, that's what I think. I think they're racing down that, that straight down that coastline basically and they are going to try to maybe block off the entrance of the cave or whatever with a wall of ice. I don't know. You know, I'm just trying to picture right, in my right. mind because they know oh hell, they're figuring it out maybe quicker than we thought. Now there's visions being sent Sam's in the Citadel reading it. Right. You know, he's and sending speaking a raven. of the Citadel and Sam, he's, you know, the little picture on the map that he pulled up of Dragonstone, we saw another shot of that too. Remember when Danny walks up on the beach, she walks right past that entrance. The exact same I shape about that. of That's the right. cave that goes underneath Dragonstone. There, It's literally an underground caverns everywhere. It is literally a volcano full of dragon glass. So it, it makes sense to me that that could be essentially either way, whether it's Dragonstone. And or the God's Eye, water has to be frozen. So therefore, they remove that line from the Hound's vision and not give away the ending. And I want everybody to, to realize, I mean, what's coming is not like a blizzard that we're used to. I mean, it's literally going to, you, you'll see the ships frozen in the waves and everything. I mean, it, they're gonna block off any wave by sea. I mean, right. it, it's gonna be crazy. I mean, if you think about the tale Old Nan told Bran, you know, where people literally froze in their castles just like the people yes. in their huts. I mean, that kind of thing. This is, you know, they don't have to necessarily go from, you know, Carhold to the last hearth to Winterfell to, you know, to exactly. all these all these villages or, or castles or towns or whatever and kill everybody with whites. The cold will do the majority of the work. And the based further off south of, they get, the yes. less prepared those people are for that type of cold the cold's going to kill thousands yes. uh, by itself. It's going to be a slaughter. Yeah. There's no and reference in the books to any place. I think automatically most people thought, and I did too. Right. Most people thought, okay, he sees the Night King and the Army of the Dead coming south. He sees Eastwatch. He sees them marching by some random mountain on, it, on their way to Eastwatch. Right. That's what the majority of people think I did. I mean, because I wasn't really in that train of thought as far as this, you know. Yeah. So, I think he saw that. As he saw Eastwatch for damn sure. But he also saw their weakness, something they're heading towards, not necessarily that they're at right now. And, and I'd like to say this also. I'm not going to lie and say I didn't think when I heard Mountain, I didn't. I did think of his brother. But yeah, if you sure. think of the context of a, an important vision, I do not believe in that vision he would be seeing the Army of the Dead marching by Eastwatch and then... His, his brother randomly pops up in that vision. No, no, because I that's not his destiny anymore. Exactly. He thought that was his destiny. It was the whole did. revenge thing against the mountain. He's completely the dropped fire. that now, and yeah. he's, he's he's with a bunch of fire worshipers. And like he said, uh, who would have thought? You know, um, that his brother did play a, a pivotal role in his story by burning him and everything. And we always said, there's something about him It's going to be funny to see fire have something to do with his ultimate end game. Yes. And, and that's what we said in Dragon Raised by exactly. Wolves. And, and I'll actually find those little clips and just place those in there. But feel free to check out that series because now that we were looking for those clips and another one about the Valyrian Steel Dagger known as Cat's Paw, the Cat's Paw Blade, that's never had a real name. Right. So that's what people's referred to it for for years in the books. Um, it's going. We said a year and something ago that it's going to come back into this story. Yes. And for for the, for the end game because this kind of what started our story off and got everybody fighting in the War of the Five Kings, etc. By Catelyn trying to frame Tyrion by Littlefinger. So uh, that that's all in there as well. So it was funny today going through that old series or older series. It really was. And seeing some of this stuff already in one episode of season seven, kind of connected over the years would take Dragon Glass. Yes, and give it to the Night's give it, Watch. Give it to the Night's Watch to be prepared, I guess, yes. for this. They used to give for them their a, creation. They used you know to what give I mean? them uh, Dragon Glass every year up until yeah. a certain point. So and and you know, we've seen little sacks of it and stuff, but but I'm believing all the uh, resources up there have been pretty much depleted probably. The big cash in the whole in the whole planet 
is Dragonstone. It, it seems to be the major. Ca- I mean, there's still probably some scattered stuff, but nothing and, for an army. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Because Miri, all the armies combined, yes. If if John can pull that off uh, somehow to convince everybody, hey, this there's something coming. We got to work together. Right. Where are they going to get it all? There. They're basically cutting them off at the pass, so they won't be stopped on their way to yes. the Isle of Faces. Yes. Anyway, I just thought that was very, very interesting as far as the Hound. That was the shocker to me in this episode, the Hound reading the flames. So there's mm-hmm. no place in the books or show that is shaped like an arrowhead. So when you first see that one more time, you're thinking, okay, the Night King's coming. They're walking past some mountain, random mountain, looked like an arrowhead up north of the wall. Yeah, but it's no, not literally. It's not north of the wall. It's Dragonstone. It's yes. Dragonstone. Whether whether you believe the gods out there or not, That's right. either yeah. way, the waves have to be frozen for them to get to those locations. Right. So anyway, guys, that's it for us, I think. We're going to keep this short and sweet, but go check out a Dragon Raised by Wolves series. Uh, it's uh, I'll link that in the description below, and you'll see what we're talking about as far as the God's Eye and some of the predictions we made about the Hound. Right. And also the, the dagger piece as well. Yeah. We did bring we up Littlefinger. We may have video on that. We may have to. Let us know what you think in the comments below, and as usual, thank you for all the support, especially to you guys on Patreon. And a huge shout out to my executive Patreon, Smokestream Producers, Hall Griffin, Ball Guy 10, La La Gig, Kisa Powell, Marilyn Bentley, Mark Joseph, aka The Snow and Winterfell, Joanna, Sean Hayes, Anonymous, Doc Holliday, Gaska, Hoon Jive, Kieran D20, Nikki Snow, Lo Horton, Aaron Hadbig, Ashley May, Brian Solars, and Dean Boyle. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate really the support. Nice. And be sure to subscribe to Get Everything and be sure to click that damn notification bell so you're Please. notified when I drop a new video. Also, join us every Sunday night after the show at 10.30 Eastern Standard Time for our Game of Thrones after show live stream where we talk about the episode, a little recap, review, and answer a damn shitload of questions. If As you missed the first one uh, this after this last episode, yes. you really missed out. Absolute insanity, but it was absolutely a bunch of damn fun. So anyway, guys, let us know what you think. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.